Hello folks and welcome. So, uh, like Laura in her mindfulness practice, I'm outside in my space, which is um, yard. And um, Laura mentioned wallflowers. So these are the beautiful wallflowers um, by my front doorstep. Um, and I chose them because they have these incredibly vivid colours and many flowers and they bloom for a long time and they have a gorgeous scent. Um, so, so I thought I'd share them with you and um, hopefully you enjoy them too. Um, so yeah, so I'm in my yard today and um, we have quite a change because it's raining and so I guess for many people um, the rain will bring different different thoughts and feelings um, because we associate it with uh, with different kind of pattern in our lives typically we are indoors more which we are all at the moment anyway um, and Perhaps for some people it's a little bit harder when it rains, um, especially if, if we have um, lots of cloudy days and overcast sky. Nevertheless, from the point of view of the plants and people who are growing at the moment, it's a great relief because we haven't had any rain for what, a month? Um, so, or more actually, so quite a lot more probably, six weeks, or a tiny, tiny bit of rain, but not much. Um, so I suppose it's an invitation to, um, to find, find the things that we can appreciate. Um, so for me, um, with these flowers, with the rain, it just brings out a gorgeous aroma. Um, I'm, I'm appreciative because of the, um, yeah, the fact that we will have to water a bit less at the farm this week and um, that the, you know, all the plants will benefit. Um, and yeah, sometimes it's good to have a change as well. So uh, I'm not wishing away the bright blue skies and the sunny days, nevertheless. Um, as a metaphor, you know, our lives are full of all kinds of weather. And so, um, in terms of mindfulness, finding a way to, to meet all the kinds of weather with kindness and compassion is really key. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I wanted to share these beautiful flowers with you and to remind you that, um, nature's bounty and beauty is all around us, especially now. In the spring, there are lots of blossoms, very vivid greens now appearing on all the trees. And for those of you who are unable to get out at the moment, um, yeah, part, part of the idea of the videos and the recordings is that we can hopefully bring some of the beauty and tranquility and um, vivaciousness maybe of nature into your indoor space um, and also it's a reminder if you can to get out as well and um, to do so in all weather um, and I guess um, to be open to whatever whatever nature is offering to us at the time so yeah so taking time to observe again, taking time to look up at the sky, taking time to look up more closely at things and to bathe in the colours, bathe in the textures, take in the aromas. And if, if you are unable to go anywhere physically, um, then this is also an invitation and a reminder to uh, use your imagination to, so to perhaps travel in your mind, in your mind's eye, to the beautiful places that you love and remember. 
um, to picture their colours, what the path that's there, the plants that are there, the colours, and um, and to allow those um, precious memories to vibrate and uh, to flow. So yeah, so I suppose uh, today's Nature Connection invitation is to take the time, if you can go outside, go outside, to notice uh, the colours, the changes, the difference in the colours of the greens, the buds that are opening, the abundance of spring. And um, if you are unable to go outside, perhaps to, you know, at least if you can look out the window, Perhaps bring something in just from, you know, the doorstep. If you've got a flower or a branch or something, you can bring in to to help you to stay connected to nature and the out outdoors world. And um, and yeah, to rekindle memories of places that you love, and to know that nature holds us all. Um, that nature is, is there for us when we are able to seek seek her out. And um, enjoying the sound of the rain. It's gentle pitter patter and refreshing nature. Personally, I sleep really well when it rains and I can hear it on the, on the roof. So I hope you can find something to take enjoyment in from this video and perhaps it will remind you of a nature connection practice. And um, using the metaphor of weather, whatever the weather, your internal weather is, be kind to yourself. Remember that there are others here uh, wanting to connect and um, supporting you to connect to nature or to mindfulness to find inner strength. And we'll continue to send out these emails. So lots of love for now and um, go well. <laughs>